Hello and welcome to episode two of Putting Gold in the Golden Year. This week we're going to talk about what it's like living in a retirement community and some of the benefits thereof. Luann and I used to have a house a couple of miles from where we are now and we'd drive by this place all the time. One time I mentioned to Luann, I wouldn't mind living there. She said, are you crazy? We're too young to be living in some place like that. Well, I kept working at her and working on her and finally she decided, okay, we'll take a look at the place. She took one look at it and agreed that this probably wasn't a bad idea. And it would free us up from being tied to a house and give us the opportunity to put some gold in our golden years by being able to travel and do the things we like. And actually, my wonderful wife here did a spreadsheet comparing the costs and it turned out that we could actually save some money by moving in here. Now listen to your comments from episode one and heard you clearly that I didn't let Luann talk enough. <laughs> well, good, <laughs> good thing because this time she's going to do most of the talking. Luann, would you like to show them some things in your cost comparison? Absolutely. Um, as Mark said, I was a little bit skeptical about it uh, and started thinking about the ways that it might save us money. So I did do a spreadsheet analysis and it turned out that it did. But then when we came over here and talked to the housing specialist here, she gave us some written information that one of the residents had compiled about the advantages uh, of being here and the things that you didn't have to worry about anymore. So that was really helpful and thought we'd share some of the specifics of that with you today. Um, some of the things that you don't have to worry about are homeowners insurance, city and county taxes, internet and cable television, landline telephone, that's provided within this uh, retirement community. Water, gas, and electric utilities are included here. Sewer fees, garbage fees, plumbing costs for leaks or malfunction of fixtures to take care of. Anything that goes wrong um, with that uh, cottage or, or apartment here is taken care of by the uh, maintenance staff. So there's absolutely no worries about when something breaks that you're going to have an expensive bill to pay for, things like that. Uh, they also take care of termite treatment. They take care of the yard and the uh, painting and power washing the buildings and things like that. Also, we found that uh, we did, weren't eating out as much because meals at our facility are provided. Meals and snacks are provided three times a day. Also, we don't have to spend very much on groceries. We have a few things that we keep uh, for snacks and stuff like that, but with the meals being provided, our grocery expenditures are almost nothing. Um, don't have to worry about pipes freezing, gutter cleaning, uh, maintenance of buildings, things like that. Don't even have to worry about carpet cleaning or light bulb changing, so they take care of all those kind of things. So it really is worry-free uh, living don't have to worry about the neighborhood that you're living in changing and houses around you becoming rental properties which decreases the value of the other houses in the area. All the utilities are provided here, the appliances are provided here, so once again if anything goes wrong you just pick up the phone and call the maintenance and they come over and take care of it. Don't have to winterize, don't have to worry about anything, as I said, anything in the yard. Uh, uh, trash service is included, so there's not an additional fee to the city for picking up trash. They also have an exercise facility, they have recreation facilities, and they have a whirlpool. Uh, so these are some things that uh, give you an opportunity to socialize with other people and get to know other people in the community. Uh, in our facility, you know, this may not be true for every facility, but in our facility they have concierge services, they have a bus that takes residents to doctor's appointments and on shopping excursions, and uh, at around Christmas time uh, they took us out to see the Christmas lights and all kind of fun things to do. Of course COVID-19 has kind of put the kibosh on that, but that will resume when the virus situation has improved. Um, the other thing that was really important to us is that they allowed us to keep our dogs. So we have our dogs, Omi and Frankie, with us, which makes us very happy. Um, the other thing that's uh, uh, an opportunity here is that they have a 
a representative from one of the home health agencies here so that if people do need additional help with a, a few tasks, then that uh, person is available on site to talk with them and get that set up. They also have church services here and the theater where they show movies and have other things go on. Um, one of the amenities that I'm really fond of is that they have a cleaning service that uh, provides cleaning for the uh, apartments and cottages once a week, which is really nice. Uh, if for some reason somebody's under the weather, they can provide meal service delivery, which is also helpful. Um, there's an exercise room, as I shared, which is nice to have. You can use it. They have group activities, and it's also used independently. One of the other things that's really nice here is the staff. The staff is really, really friendly, responsive, helpful, kind. Uh, it truly has a community feel. Um, the buildings are protected by fire and sprinkler systems. Uh, they provide an electronic, um, I've fallen and I can't get up necklace, so if something happens uh, to an individual that's living here, they're notified and uh, assistance is sent to them, which is also very nice. Uh, they also have a beauty salon here, they have a pharmacy here, they have a small grocery here, they have a credit union here, so not all these things are available in all um, retirement communities, but these are some of the ones that are available here. They also have a wonderful travel program, which was of great interest to Mark and I. They have several facilities around the country. I believe they have about 35 with plans to build about 50. And uh, as a benefit of living here, the residents can go and stay in one of the other facilities for up to a week with lodging and meals free of charge. It's on first come first serve basis, but it is available, and that's a distinct advantage for a couple like us who like to travel. Um, so I think I've mentioned everything uh, that I can think of right off the top of my head. So those are some of the things that make us really happy and make this feel like home for us. So it's worked out great for us. Is there anything else you want to add, honey? Uh, one of the other benefits is uh, the other residents. These people have led a full life, and if you listen to their stories and talk to them, it's extremely interesting. I mean, they run the gamut. There's World War II veterans here. There's people that have been missionaries to other countries here. Just all kinds and any occupation you can think of. So it's really fun to hear all their stories and that type of thing. Now, the other thing is we did have some changes because of COVID-19 but they took the health and welfare of the residents as their number one priority mm -hmm. and have done an excellent job considering we have a very vulnerable population here. We really haven't had any real problems because of COVID. Some things have been curtailed a little bit and all that's understandable, but as I say, they took the health and welfare of the residents as their number one priority. So, like I say, there's a facility out there to meet everyone's needs. You just need to look around in your area, visit several facilities, and uh, be like we, we thought that this was something that really gave us the freedom to do what we wanted to do rather than be tied down. It was an opportunity to do more traveling. We especially appreciate the travel program. Absolutely. So, Given that, I guess that's all we have for this week, but uh, we're plan putting the plans in place for episode three. We don't exactly know what the topic's going to be yet, but we'll come up with something as wonderfully interesting as this has been. <laughs> that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye. But wait, there's more.
bad books. Be on the lookout for episode three.